have an Eyewitness News exclusive, a travesty. A young boy thrown in jail as a 16-year-old high school sophomore now more than three years later. This young man is free. Criminal charges completely dropped. And good evening again at 530. I'm Diana Williams. And I'm Shade Bitterinwa. It is an outrageous case of justice derailed. How could it take three years for prosecutors in the Bronx DA's office to figure out they didn't have a case while a teenager sat in jail on Rikers? Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace joining us now with her exclusive story. Sarah? Well, Diana and Shade, the Bronx DA's office is refusing to say anything about this case, using the excuse that Khalif Browder has now filed a civil rights lawsuit. He was a teenage kid walking home from a party, literally snatched off the street and charged with robbery. It was a weak case from the very beginning. I, I spent three New Year's in there, three, four of my birthdays. I, I spent a lot of holidays in there. 20 year old Khalif Browder may be physically free, but mentally he is still trapped behind bars on Rikers, where every day was a battle to survive. It's very hard when you're dealing with these dudes. It's that's wild tall and they're, they're big, you know what I'm saying? And they got weapons and, and shanks and then they're in gangs. And you know, if you don't give your phone call up or you don't give them what he wants, you know they're gonna jump you because he got about other 15 gang, other gang members, it's very scary. In May of 2010, he was a 16 year old 10th grader walking home on Arthur Avenue in the Bronx after a party. The guy comes out of nowhere and says, I robbed him. And the next thing you know, they put in the coach, man, I don't even know this dude. And then I, and I do three years, over three years for something I didn't even do. Browder's family couldn't make the $10,000 bail on the robbery charges, and he had a legal aid attorney. Browder is now represented by a civil rights law firm. What was bad about this case? Mm, pretty much everything. One witness identification from a stranger, uh, no evidence, no property recovered. Months turned into years. He tried to commit suicide several times. It was just all balling in my head to the point where I just, like, I just, like, I had to just grab my head, like, I can't take it. He missed his sister's wedding, the birth of his nephew, and so many family events. In January, Browder says he was offered a plea deal after 33 months in jail. He refused. The judge, she was trying to give me time serving. I wasn't taking it. And she told me if I if I lose trial, I could get 15 years. Just take the time serving. You go home today if you say you did it. I didn't do it. I'm not, I'm not saying I did that. He went back to jail. In June, he was suddenly freed with no explanation. No apology, no nothing. They just said, oh, case dismissed. Don't worry about nothing. Like, don't, what do you mean don't worry about nothing? I just took over three years of my life. He's now trying to make up for those three high school years he lost, taking courses to get his GED. I didn't get to go to prom, graduation, nothing. Those are the main years. I'm never going to get those years back. Never. Never. Browder is trying to move forward. He expects to get his GED by the end of the year and is desperately trying to find a job any job. If you have a story you think we should investigate, call our tip line at 877-TIP-NEWS or email us at the.investigators at abc.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Sarah Wallace TV. And if you're talking about or sharing this story, use the hashtag Rikers Teen. We would like to hear your thoughts. Well, first of all, I hope somebody hires him, but yeah. it just makes yeah. me so angry to hear about this case. And I hope you stay strong. Uh, he, he went through so yeah. much. Yeah, I so know. Much. It was absolutely heartbreaking. We do need to follow up on and this. And you know what? See how he's he's not alone. It may be not this long, but there are other cases there where the system is just delayed and derailed. And it's, it's not, not right. right. It's not it's right, not right at all. Thank you, okay. Sarah. Wow. Thanks, Sarah.